For the second day in a row, Maine sees a major fire. Yesterday, it was an apartment building in Aroostook County. Good evening, everyone. I'm Amanda Hill. And I'm Pat Callahan. We'll get an update on that fire in a couple of minutes. But we begin with this morning's huge fire at a potato processing plant near downtown Belfast, one that brought firefighters from many neighboring towns to help put it out. New Center Maine's Sam Rogers is there, and he's got an update for us. Sam, it appears this was a really stubborn fire. Yeah, Pat, it was a devastating day for not just the local community, but for the McCrub family. Now, this family has been in the potato business in Maine for six generations, and today the family woke up and found out that the processing plant here in Belfast had been destroyed. The good news, there were no injuries, no one was exposed to chemicals, but now the company needs to move forward in the state and local area are here to help any way they can. Big day for Belfast. Um, it's not it's the sort of days that you hope don't happen. The day began early for fire crews in Belfast and surrounding towns. There's layers of debris that's burning, so it's going to take a while to pull that apart. Authorities believe the fire at the Penobscot McCrum potato processing plant began in a large fry later inside. The threat of chemical exposure forcing Belfast to close local schools and roads nearby. The fire department made sure that the, the chemicals didn't spread, and that was the real thing that needed to happen. Governor Janet Mills visiting the site, speaking with CEO Rod Jay here, McCrum about how the state will help his employees. We want them to have all the help the state of Maine can give them in, in this transition period. The city of Belfast also helping the 138 employees of the okay. facility using $14,000 from its Keep the Faith Fund. Council, mayor and manager established at the beginning of COVID to help folks that were in need. Now local residents, family and friends of the McCrum facility are the ones in need. Each employee getting a $100 Hannaford gift card Thursday. A very caring, inclusive community, and this was the first step of what may be many, but it is definitely the first step to get people through today and the weekend. City manager and lifelong Belfast resident Aaron Herbig says it's a tough day for the community, but the city will rally together. We've always been gritty, we've been tough, we've been authentic, we've always turned ourselves around. So I know in a situation like this, it's going to be no different. I think something something exciting and an opportunity will come of this. And when Governor Mills was on scene, she said she was a, a relief or excuse me, responding a rapid response team from the Maine Department of Labor to assess the situation, find out how the state can help the 138 employees affected by the fire. Amanda. All right, Sam Rogers live in Belfast. Thank you, Sam.